Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Now, I have done a, a video earlier in this series about how we come about with the quadratic equation, so uh, make sure you go check it out. But apart from that, um, yeah, so this is the quadratic formula and uh, we're going to kind of learn how to use it and uh, solve these quadratic equations. So to get started, um, you need to understand with the quadratic equation is that any quadratic equation could be written in the format of uh, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. So I always say write that part down first and then write down what those three letters are. So a is going to be the value in front of x squared and in this case it's going to be one. Remember that when you have x squared by itself it's just saying that it's one x squared. And then b is equal to seven uh, because that's the positive seven right there. That's what the b value is. Uh, maybe I'm going to choose a different color for um, just this one right there. There we go. And then we have our uh, C value, which is equal to positive 12. So it's really important that you get these three values out. And once you get these three values out, it is just a matter of substituting it into this um, equation. So we write down x, I'm going to copy this equation down, so we've got x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So then x is equal to, now uh, b is equal to 7, so I've got 7 plus or minus b squared is, so 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12. And that's all divided by 2 times 1. So when I do this, what I end up getting is I've got 7 squared, which is 49, uh, minus 48 is equal to just 1, and that's divided by 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. So then we can say that x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus, square root of 1 is just 1, and that is divided by 2. Now, you might be wondering why there's a plus or minus symbol there, but remember that when you actually take a square root of any number, you will have two answers, which is the plus positive version of it and also the negative version of it. So then what we need to do is we need to split it up. So our first answer is we're going to use the plus divided by 2. And then our second answer, we're going to use the minus. All right. And when we do this, we actually end up with x is equal to, we've got negative 6 over 2 and negative 8 over 2. And of course, simplifying this further, we get our two answers of x is equal to negative 3 and negative 4. All right, so moving on to the next question. We are pretty much going to be doing the same thing again. We're going to write down what our a, b, c are. So a in this case is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 7, and c is equal to 2. So I'm just getting the 3 from there, a, which is the value of the, the coefficient of x squared. Uh, then we've got negative 7, which is the value for b. So it should be the whole thing there. And then our c value is positive 2, which what we have here. So once again, we're going to substitute it into our uh, formula. So we're going to get x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now it's really important that you be, are careful with the um, negative b. Because what you have is negative b, which means you're actually, your negative is from the original equation. And then b is equal to negative 7. So put that in a bracket like this, so that you can kind of see that b is negative 7. And then plus or minus, and once again, put the negative 7 in brackets. So negative 7 squared, minus 4 times 3 times c. And that whole thing is divided by 2 times 3. So what happens, you'll notice, is that when we have negative of negative 7, it ends up being positive 7, plus or minus, the negative 7 squared is 49, minus, uh, we've got 4 times through 12, 12 and 2 is 24, we've got 24, and that whole thing is divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. So we're going to keep carrying on now, so we're going to get 7, plus or minus, square root of 49 minus 24 is 25, and that's divided by 6. So then x is equal to 7 plus or minus 5 over, we got 5 uh, over 6, the square root of 25 is 5. And now we have two different answers. So the first one we're going to add, so 7 plus 5 over 6, 
and the second one we are going to subtract 7 minus 5 divided by 6. So in the first case we're getting 12 divided by 6 and in the second case we're getting 2 divided by 6. 12 over 6 simplified to 2. 2 over 6, well we're going to simplify it to 1 third and we leave that as our final two answers. All right, and the last question. So sometimes it is not straightforward with your quadratic. What you'll need to do is you will actually need to rearrange it. So in this case, we're going to rearrange our equation first to 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 equals to 0. Once we do that, we actually work out what our a value is. So a in this case is 2, b is equal to minus 9, and c equals minus 5. So just to recap, I got my a value from there, which is the coefficient of x squared. My b value is minus 9, which is the coefficient of x by itself. And then my c value is the constant, which is negative 5. All right, so once I've got all of those, I put it back into this equation, negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So I get x is equal to, and again, we've got that b, which is a negative 9, so we need to make sure we put that in a bracket. Negative 9 plus or minus, what we have is negative 9 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 5. Okay, and then we also have it divided by 2 times 2. So then we kind of keep carrying on. So we've got negative of negative 9, which equals to positive 9, plus or minus. Now negative 9 squared is 81. Minus 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times negative 5 is negative 40, and the negative negative makes it plus 40. So I hope you guys can see that. So negative 4 times 2 times negative 5 is actually going to be plus 40. And all of that is divided by 2 times 2, which is 4. So then x is equal to 9 plus or minus square root of 121 over 4. And then square root of 121 is 11. And that's divided by 4. So then we can say x is equal to 9 plus 11 over 4, or 9 minus 11 over 4. So in our first situation, we're going to get 20 divided by 4. And in our second situation, we get negative 2 over 4. So we can see that 20 over 4 is positive 5. And our second answer is going to be negative half. All right, guys. So that is basically it. I'm just trying to squeeze all my working in there. But that's basically it um, in terms of how to use the quadratic formula and uh, using uh, in substituting for a b and c all right guys that's basically it for this uh, video here as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content there should be some playlists popping up around here somewhere check them out good revision material there and as always thank you for watching